Camilla was considered an unsuitable bride for Prince Charles when they were young, because she wasn't a virgin, according to the documentary The Royal House of Windsor. The Duchess of Cornwall had lived a bit and her experience ruled her out as a wife, it was revealed by the documentary narrator. This experience was clarified by historian Dr. Piers Brendan who said, it was absolutely vital to have on the throne somebody who was a virgin. A future queen must have no past. Camilla Shand, as she was known at the time, met the heir to the throne at Lord Mountbatten's home, who was Charles' great-uncle. She was a vivacious, horse-mad member of the Sussex country set and the two had a very warm and vibrant relationship. Biographer and journalist Christopher Wilson said Charles himself was red-blooded and passionate and when the two met it was like a thunderclap. Author Penny Junior said, she was funny, she was outspoken, a bit outlandish, she lived a bit. And he was still very green behind the ears and he just fell for her big time. However, the expectation on Prince Charles to pick the perfect bride to be the future queen meant that Camilla's past was an obstacle. Ems Junior said, I mean, there is no suggestion at all that Camilla was a loose woman, but she had had boyfriends. The Prince of Wales felt a strong sense of duty, particularly considering the legacy of the Duke of Windsor, who abdicated the throne to marry divorcee Wallace Simpson. Camilla had been in an on and off relationship with a polo friend of Charles called Dandra Parker Bowles, who she later married. Charles himself left to join the Navy and was apparently devastated when he found out about the marriage. He dated a string of different women before marrying Diana Spencer, who became the Princess of Wales. Both Camilla and Charles were to divorce their spouses, of course, and were married in 2005. Camilla is set to blow the lid off the royal family with the shocking $12 million tell-all that will reveal every palace secret from the last 50 years. The Duchess of Cornwall has been in top-secret negotiations with book publishers in the U.S. about a deal that could see her share her never-told-before story, much to the shock of senior royals. It's believed the blockbuster expose will reveal exactly how her illicit romance with Charles began and new details of their affair behind Diana's back as well as revealing exactly how she feels about every member of the royal family. Sources tell USA Express Camilla's views on Duchess Kate, Meghan Markle and Denmark's Princess Mary which aren't exactly kind or pleasant will shock the world, making it no great surprise that the Queen is using all her power to stop the tell-all from ever seeing the light of day. Camilla's been offered a whopping as $10 million by a U.S. publishing house to spill all her secrets on her life with Charles, their affair and all the dramas from inside the palace and it's caused terror to rip through the royal family in what they fear could be the biggest scandal they've ever faced, a high-ranking palace source tells USA Express. One of Camilla's closest aides leaked the information to someone inside the palace and an emergency summit was called immediately by the Queen, says the source. The entire family has been shaken to the core especially Charles, who fears Camilla's revelations could be explosive. It could not only destroy the royal family's reputation but cause them to fall apart for good. Camilla is said to be revealing exactly what happened between her and Diana, how Charles was still seeing her when they were married, details of bitter showdowns with William and Harry and painting the boys in a very different light to the charming princes they are known to be. She's also set to spill potentially devastating details about how the Queen really reacted to Harry's relationship with Meghan Markle, tensions between Charles and the Queen over the throne, and how Kate tried to bulldoze her journey to the throne and the rose which took place between them. This could potentially be devastating and the palace is now trying to devise an action plan to stop the publishing deal from going ahead. Right now everyone feels like they are waiting for a bomb to explode. It's believed Camilla is digging in her heels on doing the tell-all, with supporters revealing she thinks she's been silenced for too long and that her opinion deserves to be heard. Camilla, say sources, loved the attention she received following her interview to commemorate her recent 70th birthday, and would love to have more time in the limelight. She's so fed up with so many things behind palace doors that's why she's really considering doing this book, and insider reveals. She disapproves of Meghan, 
Kate and Princess Mary she really hates that so many commoners are finding their way into Europe's biggest royal families. She's sick of the sympathy that Diana continues to receive and how she and Charles have always been painted as heartless and conniving. She wants the world to know she was Charles' rightful wife back when she was a teenager, that they were in love back then but Philip and the Queen ended their romance and forced him to marry Diana. She wants to have her say and she's not going to pull plans to do this book easily. Sources say the book is just the latest saga in a long line of scandals behind the scenes at Buckingham Palace, involving Camilla, who is reportedly demanding that aides should call her queen. She thinks the queen should abdicate and demands that all her minions call her Her Majesty and Queen behind the scenes, telling them that they need to practice, says the source. It's frightfully disrespectful but that's Camilla for you. She's really throwing her weight around at the moment. She wants to be head of the royal family sooner, rather than later. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, will become queen despite Clarence House's previously claiming she will not take the title when her husband is crowned, a former private secretary said. When Camilla married Prince Charles in 2005, the royal palace issued a statement saying the Prince of Wales's second wife would not use the title of Queen Consort out of deference to late Princess Diana. But a royal insider believes the chances of seeing a Queen Camilla are high. Patrick Jefferson, private secretary to Diana, the Princess of Wales, between 1989 and 1996, shared his views on what the future holds for the Duchess of Cornwall. Appearing on Channel 4's The Royal House of Windsor, he said, I think Queen Camilla was always on the cards. You'll never find it acknowledged, you'll find clever wording like there are no plans or it is not envisaged. But I bet you a dollar to a donut Her Majesty Queen Camilla will be crowned. Mr. Jeffson's shocking claim came shortly before Clarence House removed any references to the potential title the Duchess will use once her husband and heir will ascend to the throne. Last year, the Royals' official website stated in its Frequently Asked Questions page, Will the Duchess become Queen when the Prince becomes King? As was explained at the time of their wedding in April 2005. It is intended that the Duchess will be known as HRH the Prince's Consort when the Prince of Wales acceded to the throne. Clarence House officials said the statement was removed because the public was no longer interested in the issue. Prince Charles and Camilla had a years-long affair while the Prince of Wales was still married to Diana. The affair was made public by the Princess in 1995 during a bombshell interview to Panorama where Diana unveiled the deepest secrets of her unhappy marriage, famously saying there were three people in her relationship with Charles. Following Diana's death in 1997, Prince Charles made clear within the palace's relationship with Camilla was non-negotiable. And it was officially revealed two years later, on January 29, 1999, when the pair was seen leaving London's Ritz Hotel together. Mr. Jeffson's belief there will be a Queen Camilla is already proven correct by the British Constitution, which states the wife of the king automatically becomes a queen consort. Royal expert James Brooks had previously told Express.co.uk, Camilla will become queen, there is no choice to make. Only a direct intervention of the government in the royal matter would prevent this from happening. But a change in the Constitution for a similar reason may upset many, Mr. Brooks said. The expert continued, despite the public opinion started to change over the years, many are still very skeptical about Camilla, a lot of people are antagonistic towards her and that's mainly down to the relationship and previous history with Diana. But while her becoming queen could enrage some, a change in the Constitution just for Camilla may get even more people very upset. The Queen has a secret weapon up her sleeve if too much waving makes her arm ache, a false hand. The Sun reports that the waving machine, a stuffed glove on a wooden lever, was given to her as a joke by a group of Australian students several years ago. And although she's never used it in public, her major thought it was so funny she took it home to the UK.
In a book about the Queen, Princess Anne recalls the young Aussies presenting their invention. Anne, 68, said, they gave her a stuffed glove on a wooden lever so you could tweak the end of the lever and this hand went to and fro. I think they thought it was cheeky, but Her Majesty was thrilled. Author Robert Hardman, who talked to the princess for his book Queen of the World, said, The Queen was rather taken with it and I think it ended up at Balmoral. I don't think she ever used it in public, but I hear it became a much-loved family joke. The Queen, 92 has perfected the art of waving with minimum effort but is required to do it thousands of times, especially when faced with crowds of well-wishers on tour. Her royal yacht Britannia even had a group of people whose task was to wave from its deck. When sailing through an inland waterway, throngs would appear on the banks and wave. The crew were too busy to respond, so organized waving parties to do it instead. Albert Dixie Dean, one of Britannia's longest-serving yachtsmen, said, it was exhausting to wave all the time, so we had a party whose job was just to wave. This article originally appeared in The Sun and is republished here with permission. <laughs>